Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel in another episode of my Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It is the morning of day... I don't know what the hell day it is. Going to make four of these. Uh, day 26. Traders restock today, so we're going to head over to the trader. See if we can buy some ammo. Uh, I'm going to put those in there. We've got issues because a watering horde came by last night. And I believe it's just hanging around outside, which means shit's about to kick off real quick here. Uh, but I got some stuff I want to do tonight. Oh, wait, unless... You know what, I reloaded, so I wonder if it despawned. I wonder if it... Because I restarted my computer before to this morning. I'm recording this after the last episode. Yeah, because I wanted to get my frame rate back up here. It looks like it's a little better, but... I think, um... They must have despawned. I was fully waiting for a, a wandering horde fight this morning, but I guess it's not going to happen. Okay, fair enough. Well, we got we got shit we got to do before the horde uh, comes again. We want to go ahead, clean this up. Okay, so yesterday was the free day. Today we might get a horde. I don't know. So we want to make sure if we do, we're ready to go. Uh, what I want to do, decide on a couple things. One, I want to push this back a little bit. So maybe two blocks out and then over. And we want to move this back, the stairwell back. So I want to do that, I think, first before anything, because we can get it done. I got a lot of concrete. Let's actually go ahead and make, um, let's make like 50. No, let's make 100. 14 minutes. Okay, cool. We'll get that going. We repaired most of this yesterday, but we got to knock this out. Now, I'll probably not knock out the concrete block. As you notice, I got the steel pickaxe going too. It's a little, um, it's a little stamina worthy here, but I think for the block breaking, I think we need to kind of go with something bigger than what we had. So I'm going to go ahead and break out all the bottom layer here then hopefully we can just collapse all the stuff that we don't want. Because breaking all of these blocks is going to be a real pain. Man, you know, I when we were when I was putting this together, I knew eventually uh, we may have to do this, but um, I was really hoping we wouldn't have to, but we definitely have to. We can't we can't afford those spider zombies doing what they're doing. Um, especially if they're still getting in. Uh, we may actually block up that window. I'm not 100% sure yet. But um, that's a possibility. I'll probably, you know, I might leave this pillar here. We could do a double. No, this has got to come down. It's got to come down. I was going to say we might be able to do a double uh, ramp where it kind of comes out to where we are right now. So it would come out to here, go over, and then up, and then down. But I don't think we should do that. I think it should just be a straight line. The more the uh, spider zombies have a, a place to lo leap from, the more they will. I okay, thought I heard a zombie there for a second. All right, let's get under here. All right, so I think that's got all the underneath part done. Um... So what's holding this up now? So all these stairs in the bottom have to go. So it's really just the top part here. So if we knock out maybe the part that's connected here. Ah oh man. Okay, so this has got to come out. Okay, that problem's done. Now, let's start working on the next section here. Just so I've got an idea where we have to go to. So we've got, what, three between here? One, two, so four. One, two, here. I think that should probably do it, and then we can 
copy shape and then we can do on face and we'll do the same thing that we did with the other one just going to four on each of these sides right now right yeah back to that okay now if we take out this one okay yeah there we go nice now we can just quickly clear this up all right that gets that pretty much cleared out now um, I think this is probably far enough out. I think we go one out here and then over three four we were down so here right that should be fine all right these guys have got to come out okay we want to try and keep as much of this as we can which is not going to be very much so this is where the stairs will go up finally can actually make this out of the blocks that I wanted to make it out of like so and then we do the stairs uh, which is right here there we go there we go now um, do I want to move the turrets back this way let's uh, copy the shape copy rotation put that in there shape you like we could put both turrets back here again keep them away from the base although if we have them come here and around whoops and around the corner right if they come up they come here and around here before they get hit I got an opportunity to shoot at them but then they've got an opportunity to shoot at me too right so the demons later on and everything will have an opportunity to hit me. Now I could do one turret here punching them that way and one turret here as a backup punching them this way. Uh, they'd have to be separated over here though. Like one like that. Either that one there and then one right here. So that they're not like that and that where the corners touch because then the zombies might just well like I guess the zombies don't really see corner blocks like that as something they can walk along. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, these guys have to come out. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have a free day today, which is nice. Alright, now we just need to work on how we get them. We want to get them to here. Like they'll get up to the top there and then it'll narrow. Or here and it narrows there. Well, we know these guys have to be this. Now let's bring out these guys because for now I want to go ahead and put stairs in with this so that's got to be stairs now we did two each direction at least two each direction right so we can put that in that now we don't have to worry about fixing that later that and that that's got to be a full stair that's got to be a full stair and then if we go let's plot it with wood now stairs we want the corner piece this one or this one no we want to go with the other one that one right then it would be
shit, it wouldn't be this. We need to go up one more. This is the problem we had last time. Okay, so if we do... Um, God, I love the fact that you can actually build all these sh frames, like shape frames like that. Like that. Like that and like that. And then we want to go this route. Here. There. We narrow them right here. can't do it we got to come out one more here um just for the sake of argument corner that's a corner that's a corner like that okay I think I got this now um, so you you And this would be a corner. Oh man, okay. Corner, corner, corner. Now we need to lead them over from this side too, right? This stuff can come out. Double check we've got what we're doing here. Okay, you're four and then three. So space, so this is four. This is three. that'll be the stairs and then we pyramid this side so this has got to go oh man okay I really hope this works much better because if it doesn't we're stuck with it not a damn thing we can do about it now now that we've made it in concrete it's gonna stay in concrete so we're out three so one two three that and that Am I out far enough? I don't think I am. We gotta go one more. One more. I think that'll do it. This side first. And then we do... God, I hope this works. Like that. And this one should be a corner block. Uh, 
Okay, let's get some more cobblestone shapes here. Like 50. And then concrete shapes. We got two. Let's go with 13. Gives us a little over a thousand left. So we're gonna go three out that way. One, two, three. Shit. I wish you had like a couple of second uh grace period on that where you if you drop it you can pick it up like right away if you make a mistake are we doing it all the way no that and that and then we want to do the corner blocks, which are that and that, 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 there, 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 there. Almost done. Almost done. Back to stairs. That one. That one. Like that. Let's take out this block now. Okay, so that goes there. So now... That goes like that. Now we got these guys finishing up. Like that. Like that. Shape. Let's grab... Um, it'll be one of these guys, but it's like a... It's the, the peak. Where is the peak? Um, what's it called again? Like Gable. Gable quarter half. So that's quarter one side, half another. Was it wedge tip? That's the one I want. Like that. Is it perfect? No. Will it survive the horde? Yeah, probably. Uh, we want to go shape. And we want to grab the... Where are you here? Why can't I never find the damn thing? First row. Like that. It's not perfect. Not by any means, but then we go shape. I think we're going to have to leave the turrets where they are for now. Angle block, we want to go with your up here somewhere. There you are. And then advanced. That. Come on. God, this looks hideous. This might cause a problem here. Might cause a problem. Oh, we need more concrete blocks. Uh, 20. Okay, those should be concrete. Those should be concrete. There we go, it's all concrete. Alright, nice. So, copy shape. And then, advanced rotation. That one, and then we want to go shape this guy. And then copy the rotation on both of these. So now, if they try to launch themselves from here, they don't ha quite have the range to land where I was. 
right? It's too far back for them. This is going to be an issue, though. So I think what we need to do... is definitely move these guys back. Actually, let's grab this. Okay. And you. All right, we'll have to leave these for now. Eventually, I'll take them out, I think. Actually, if I can do them today, I will. Let's go down here, though. They destroyed the, uh, the coops. And this tree is busted. I can't break it down. Yeah, so we got to get them off of the ground. We'll get a couple of these things. Actually, let's pull them all up. These aren't so much of an importance as they used to be, but it's nice to get a little bit of resources here and there. We done yet? We are. All right. Now what? Uh, pull you out, put you down. It's been really, really quiet this morning, and I have no idea why it's so quiet. It's kind of got me freaked out a little bit. I think it was because it was a horde last night and I reloaded. I didn't think the watering horde would despawn though. That's my bad. Okay, let's pull at least this block out of here. Okay, now we can go inside. How much concrete do we have left? Bring you down. We got a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. We're gonna need to go, and that's 28. So let's go. that and try and get all of this up here upgraded to at least the fourth level all right so we do have some of these yeah all right let's just break some of these out Okay, so that's got all of the outer parts done, with the exception of this one, it looks like. And what I did was behind there, for most of it, I updated it to cobblestone. Like up near me, there was a couple I upgraded, like up in here, I upgraded just to uh, concrete. But most of it's just cobble. Now, um, I dread having to do this, but uh, uh, where's the regular frame shapes? Do that. God does not die. Oh shit, that's not gonna work. That is definitely not gonna work. Like if I fill this in, they can still get in there You know what I mean? Between the, uh... I don't know. Well, we're gonna do this. Hopefully they can't get in. Like, you like to think that they wouldn't be able to fit between, like, a block and that plate, but they can. I've seen it happen before. Let's take this out. Well, we'll see how that goes. I don't think it's going to work though. All right, let's take some of this stuff out, get some more electronic electrical parts. All right, so that's that done. Okay, let's clean a little bit of this goop up. 
Alrighty, now they were trying to break through here too. Doesn't really have me that concerned. Uh, where are my cobblestone shapes here? Uh, copy shape. That should be fine. But like they're not going to get in, so no big deal. Actually, let's break out you. Go with a full block here. All right, now. Okay. I want to look at somewhere in here. Actually, let's go outside. We'll go around the back and go up the ladder here. I think what we do is like, this is where we're going to make our farm, I think. If I put it anywhere else, it's a thousand hit points. If I put it anywhere else, they're just going to wreck it. Let's do that here. Okay. Now we need to have the water down one. from where the farm plots are going to be. So the farm plots have to be up one higher. So basically they're the second block off of the ground. Let's knock out... Yeah, let's knock these two out. And that's 10,000 hit points. Because why would it be anything but 10,000? Fuck's sakes. Okay, we've got 12 farm plots. Let's take this out. Okay, now let's make a hatch. Don't think it's going to matter, but it's better to have something rather than nothing. Where are the wooden hatches? Starts with a W. Get you down here. Like I should probably just take this out completely, but... Just do that for now. Okay, so we want to do... So we got... That's only a half block. So if that's the water, man, it's not going to be a very big farm. We'd have to have that at the end. That at the end. On top of this would be where the farm plots would be. And this would all be water. So how many rain catches would we need? We need one there. One there. Well, three then. Actually, can we make this one longer? Technically we could. There we go. So rain catcher, rain catcher, rain catcher. The water goes above it, which would be there, when the farm plot would be right there. And it looks like hell, but... Yeah, we got 12 farm plots, so... Okay, now... Um, so rain catchers are just wood and metal. Let's make three of those. Get those crafting. Now while that's going on, we gotta knock this out. We need a door. Uh wooden door. For now. Where are you? Oh there you are. It's a secure wood door. As opposed to just a regular wooden door. Okay, so the farm plots are up here. Got 12 of those. We got three corn, three potatoes, carrots. Let's put the mushrooms in there. Uh, chrysanthemum and probably this. Wait, that's how many? We got three, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got enough for one more. Rice, tomatoes, wheat. 
I'm thinking in the immediate. We can worry about the other stuff later on. So let's grab with this. Because this will give us meat stew. This and... I don't think carrots work for veggie stew or not, but... Ooh, do we... Ah. How many carrots do we have? We need potatoes more than anything. So let's leave the carrots there and then let's pull down we got the aloe okay so we can go ahead and make two I made a, a ton of uh, a ton of um, first aid bandages so five potatoes is probably good uh, where am I in here I made more bandages where are they where are the extra bondages? Oh, they're there. Oh boy, starting to work. Like I knew this was going to get bad. Like I knew it was going to get bad at a certain point. Actually, yeah, let's put these in here for now. I'll forget they're there. I knew it was going to get bad, but uh, I didn't think it was going to get this bad this fast. I mean, it's day 26. So, good thing we had those impact braces. Day 26, so... My big fear now is that they decide to that they get up here somehow and come through here and destroy our farm plots. Okay, so that's got to be a rain catcher. Let's do those first. Actually... Sure. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and we'll do the other ones here. Twelve, and then the rest we can just fill in with frames temporarily. Because the water will try and seep out. At least if it's covered in with frames, you don't have to worry about it. And then we want to do rain catcher here. The rain catcher in the middle. Like so. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave the end blocks like that. And then what we do here in the center is we make some plates like that and like that. And then I know the rain can get through the bars. So we want to go uh, advanced. Like this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a little one, it's one too much, but. There we go. Okay, let's get our seeds in. Let's go with corn down here, potatoes, we can tuck the aloe in at the end, then we'll put the chrysanthemum here, and the mushrooms there. Okay, well, is it perfect? No, is it done? Yes. Alright, now let's get some of this floor. filled in like that. Now I want to do the upper floor too. But I got to worry about stability issues. So do we want to go like that? Let's break these out. That can be brick. Like so. Adds a little more stability. Can't reach it to do it from above. That's fine. We'll do this. Actually, can I reach that from here? No. 
Nope, that's the one I'm, I'm hitting. This one? Yeah, I can't hit that one. Or maybe I was hitting that one. 1200? Yeah. Okay. Close you up, close you up. Okay, not so bad there. Now, up here... We definitely need room. That can go there. Let's take off this extended block. There. Let's take this one out too. Now, let's go ahead and do... Like that. I think we could probably take out all this wood now. All right, so that's got that out of the way with. Let's pull this out of the way. Is that our first zombie today? I think it is. Where are you, buddy? Let's deal with you before tonight. Oi! Somebody else outside. I should really be wary of Well, of wandering hordes. Hope those turrets are in range. Well, we had to test it. And of course, we uh, confirmed that we are not anywhere near capable of actually throwing Molotovs from here. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, it's working. At least we know it's, the turrets are in range of my, uh... Why does it sound like there's somebody here? I guess that's to make up for the, uh... Wandering Horde that didn't, uh... Do anything last night. Come on, you guys. Yeah, we definitely need rad removers. God, they just do the turret does so much work. Look at it. It's too bad no spider zombies showed up because it would be a good test to see if uh Damn, I missed. Yeah, spider zombies would be a good test to see if um, this was working or not. So what I'm thinking about with the electric fences is running it along the front here. So having it kind of stick out there, along here, and on that side. Right in front here, so when the spider zombies jump up here, they get electrocuted. We're almost at a point where we can go out there. Well, we're still in range with the shotgun. Okay, the big mamas are... ...relatively easy to kill. The rads, on the other hand... ...might have a lot more hit points. And that guy.
Well, there's nighttime. So, there's no feral sense at night, so I'm not worried about the spawns. Plus, I don't think they can get past these turrets. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Let's finish this off. Come on, guys. Let's finish it up. Well, at least they're both bleeding. Come on, you guys. Let's go. That guy's dead. This guy's regening, though. Damn it! Death by bow. Alright, let's grab our bags and get inside here. So, we know the base works. Oh, that was really nice. Two repair kits. I hear somebody walking somewhere. Oh, that guy. He'll get up and come over here. Well, there's a level. At least we got something done today. Alright, what did we accomplish? We got the base fixed and updated. Which I think is going to be solved. Like, our issue is going to be solved. We got our farm done today, which is good. I think our problem with the base is now solved. Um, it will it should work for the next little bit. Um, I got bullet tips and bullets casings in here because I think what I did with last night was I made a uh, uh, better AK I don't know why I didn't do it before but I made a better better AK and I think we're gonna roll with that come horde night now uh, leave the shotgun um, unless we absolutely need it but if we can run with 762 only 178 huh oh you know what we got more gunpowder in there because I made some more last night there's 75 rounds. Not a lot, but it'll give us what we need for a while. All right. Well, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, did a lot of building, but it was something that we absolutely had to do. Now, the next episode, the Traders of Restocks. We want to go check those Traders out tomorrow. I don't know if we're going to get a Horde tomorrow or not. If we do, we do. Um, I think with the, that base the way it is, I think we definitely need more Molotovs. Um... Because I think we can keep using them. But we do need rad removers, so that's one thing we have to keep an eye out for. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm going to end the episode here, gather some stuff up, get ready for sailing for the trader. I'll probably fix this uh, the steel armor so we can get some maximum uh, um, dollars out of it. And then tomorrow when we pick it up, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, trader runs. And if we don't get a horde, I'm probably going to rip down to Rex Town. And we're going to go through that crack book. Because I think what I want to try and do is get enough pages for the scientist class and actually get that one because that one's got ability to increase the amount of healing we do with each bandage, which I think is good. It'll take it from, I think, um, it'll eventually go from 15 points per bandage up to 25, somewhere around there. So it's going to be helpful. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop your comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.